And back here in Bryan College Station, there were some long lines, Jordan, as A&M students cast their ballots as they also experienced issues with some ballots being scanned properly. And we spoke to a student who says for most, they could have voted more easily if they went off campus instead. For many, Tuesday was a waiting game. I probably won't do it on campus like ever again. Especially for first time voter Brooke Ubieta who cast her ballot at the Memorial Student Center at Texas A&M. I just went to the line after class and the line was really long. It started like at the stairs, like the entrance by the door, and it went all the way up the stairs around and then like the it was literally on the second level. Brooke waited an hour before voting and it took an hour and a half for her friends. We could have drove to a different place off campus and took 10 minutes. Elections Administrator Trudy Hancock says it was pretty busy all day with close to 17,000 voting across 25 locations. MSC still had close to 200 students in line at 7 o'clock, so we had to finish voting all of those. And it wasn't always smooth sailing. We did have a few places that, you know, had some hiccups. At the MSC, their ballot scanners began to jam that morning. Sometimes the equipment doesn't want to cooperate. But they took action, working to check the problem off their list. When your scanner's jamming, they open a separate door that's an emergency bin, and they put those ballots in that emergency bin. Before bringing them back to the Brazos Center to scan the ballots, Brooke says she plans to vote off campus in the next go around. I just thought it'd be really convenient to do it on campus, but I guess because when something's convenient, like it's going to take longer. A long time to wait, both in line and to see the results come in. William Johnson, KAGS News. And to check the results for those races, you can head over to KXTV.com.